Blankenship is any faster than his speed. <laughs> Third and ten. Four-man rush. Gannon over the middle. Porter. Touchdown. A strike from Gannon. 22 yards to Jerry Porter. And that's what he gives them in this offense. The chance to get a big play. Well, they, and they talked about him. And they did it in preseason. And they talked about Jerry Porter. The, yesterday, they said, this guy really has to step up. And yes, he has, folks. They've called him the X Factor. He's the guy that they feel like can take the pressure off of Brown and Rice. And you look at him work the middle of the football field. We talked about how... And James have gained more yards from scrimmage than Garner the last three years. Wide open is Jerry Porter. Taking balls out of his hands back upstairs. Well, like you said, Beasley, 190 passes going in and 133, 10 yards or less. First and 20 from the 29. Gannon going deep. And he's got Porter for a touchdown. A lot of looking and pointing right now by the Buffalo defense because Bill Callahan's play call for his offense was absolutely perfect. So concerned with Jerry Rice, so concerned with Charlie Garner, Tim Brown, you lose track of the other guy. And the other guy last week had almost a duplicate type of play. Jerry Porter had a gimme last week against Tennessee and another gimme right here. Of the season, he had six last week. Here's Jerry Porter. Here's Corey Wire. Remember I talked about how formations and defenses gives a young guy trouble? Watch Corey Wire just take a move to the inside, and that's all it takes as Jerry Porter clears the linebacker. Nobody's in the home. I believe the home would be Mr. Rich Gannon changes the play, looks it off, throws it down the middle to Jerry Porter. Big, strong, wide receiver breaks the tackles for the touchdown. In the best play, watch Jerry Porter over the middle, then watch Jerry Rice wide open too. He changes the play because the middle of the field is open. Jerry Porter catches it. Wow, what a nice play. Right down there kissing up to the fans in the black hole. <laughs> Unbelievable. He kept his distance though. They love me. Third down and goal. That's Porter. Wow! A catch, a penalty flag and a touchdown. It's against San Francisco. Three defense, penalty for Klein, touchdown. What a catch by Jerry Porter. <laughs> Jerry Porter, who just never made it out of John Gruden's doghouse. And I asked him before the ball game, I said, what happened? But it's not eight. Over the middle. Shell shock right now. Jerry Porter is the inside receiver right here. He's the slot, and you see it's against the zone. He just runs right through the zone, and they get it over the linebacker. It was a cover two, and in front of the safety. I was just saying, Rich Gannon's out. Jerry Porter again. Now, here's a cover two. You got the corner coming up. Safety here, deep safety here, corner here. So this is the two of it. And what Porter does is he just splits these two safeties. Now, you have to get your mic down here. So he gets behind the mic and in front of the safety. Now watch him all the way, and you see the safeties, and see how he splits them right there, and he throws between the... Usually double digits. Garner is back in, third and goal at the seven. Three receivers deployed. Here comes the blitz by Wakefield. Because of the blitz, here's Porter at the top of the screen, and he's just going to come quick in. Watch the blitz come after Gannon. One, two, three, bang, timing, ball out, ball in the air, ball in the hands. of. Because then you start thinking back and believing some of the hype about how good this offense is. It is that good, but you don't want to start believing it. Garner back in, seven play of the drive, first and ten inside the 15. Rice is on the move. So is Gannon. To the end zone, and caught for a touchdown for the second time today, Cherry Porter. Anybody want to tell me how valuable a quarterback that can move is? Watch this. Rich Gannon comes out, throws it from somewhere just above his elbow on a rope, 
to Jerry Porter for his second touchdown of the last two games to break Marino's record. Fourth quarter, Gannon, have some Jerry Porter. Gannon, pump fake, down the sideline. Touchdown, Jerry Porter. What a job by Rich Gannon. Watch Gannon. He pumped to the right. You can't see it. Jerry Porter, it's a zone coverage. Rich Gannon's pumped to the right. Keeps Damian Robinson in the middle of the field. He cannot get to the outside to make this play. Perfect throw by Gannon. Porter's going to go down the sideline. Watch Damian Robinson. He has half the field that he has to try to cover. He just can't quite get. Third and three now from the 39-yard line. Gannon has time this time, and then throws, and it... I don't know. This could be a catch, Al. You know, at this point, he got yeah. there, and then he drags that left foot. I think that's a touchdown. To Jerry Porter. Touchdown. And the Raiders finally have something going to lead 21-10 at the half. Now it's 24-16 for it. In the six, 31-19. Raiders. Not yet. Collins. Jerry Porter, two and a half to go, 31. Is minimum. Collins, double pump. Touchdown. Touchdown right down the middle to Joey Porter. Are you kidding? What a comeback. Let me tell you something. There was double coverage on that play. Lynch was also over to try to help Champ Bailey, and this ball was thrown. The only one that could get this ball was Porter. This ball was thrown over his outside shoulder. He made a turn to get to this. Now, you say, Joe, before that they took Jerry Porter out of this game, except on this play. Watch the movie makes back to the outside. That is a tough catch. Oh. He's catching this over his shoulder. Watch. Look at he this. goes inside, back to the outside. Look at this catch he makes. Champ Bailey. Jerry Porter's second touchdown catch of the year two years ago. When Richie Gannon had his MVP season, he had nine touchdown cra grabs. And you're right, Champ Bailey just got lost on that one. Well, so much for taking the heart out of him. <laughs> yeah. Rod Smith, got to think about this again. You know, you're not taking the heart out of the team. I agree with you. This is a different football team than a year ago, the, the, the Oakland Raiders. These guys, when they were talking to us last night, uh, Buchanan said to us last night, he says, you know, if you think this team is dropping down into Porter's hands, allowing him to make the play. Collins, line drive, throw, Porter, touchdown. And just like that, the Raiders have the lead. Champ Bailey again. You know what? You know, a, a lot of people stay away from Champ Bailey. He had three interceptions going into this game, and that tied the whole team. But take a look at this throw. That, po that ball was perfect. Here goes Porter to the inside. Look at his body. His body shields it away from Champ Bailey, where Champ doesn't have a chance. The only thing he could have done was knock it down. And you saw him come off the line of scrimmage and just give a slight move to the outside to keep it in goal from the five. Great job by that offensive line. You talked about it, Paul. That was the key on that play. Take a look. When you take a look at this, he has all day to throw the football. And I'm going to tell you something. Porter wasn't his primary target. He waited and he waited and waited. And Porter got himself open in the end zone. And Terry Collins just sat there and then threw it. They're going to go for two. Right this now, they're up by one. This would make it a three-point game. Look at the time he's got. He's got all day, and you can't cover anybody that long. Here goes Porter. Champ Bailey is letting him go into the inside. Look at him. He's just sitting there waiting, 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 and hit him right in the gut. He could have hit him on any... Including this 51-yard touchdown strike to Jerry Porter that pushed Oakland to a 20-10 halftime lead. Oakland's Jerry Porter was not to be outdone, and he answered Bennett's touchdown with a 32-yard score from Curry Collins to give the Raiders a 14-7 lead.
Third quarter, he really got, no, that's actually late second quarter. Kerry Collins, Jerry Porter, 21-14. Dead late in third quarter, Raiders lead 28-21. Collins, Porter, touchdown, three for him. Collins to the end zone, touchdown, Jerry Porter. Steve McNair back, quarterback of the Titans after missing last week injury. But he watched Kerry Collins at Jerry Porter. God, is he an impressive target when he gets moving. 26 yards. And, uh, uh-oh, Tom. <laughs> Pac-Man Jones. <laughs> See, we're old enough to remember that game. Pac-Man. One right there, Boom. He would return, set up a field goal, 27-25. So, Kerry Collins, Jerry Porter. Boom! That's, was that Pac-Man again? Oh, you're going to see it. Porter, gone. Game, gone. Look at this play. Take a look at Pac-Man right here. Wah, wah, wah. What is you got to give a better effort than that. that? And, and he'll hear about that one, not only in film session. He Collins, uh, well, not lost, but Jerry Porter is wide open. Raiders go for two. Dollars. Trailing 20 to 9, the Raiders rally to the fourth quarter. Collins connected with Jerry Porter to cut Kansas City's lead. A field goal at 7 to 3. Now down 13 3. Early moments of the second half. Collins, this he can do. Wow to Jerry Porter. The long ball is back. 49 yards for the quarter. McCown goes towards Dre Bly. And Jerry Porter hit him with what, Theo? A double move. Raiders cut the lead to 17 attempts, even I'm seeing. So Dante Culpepper, five plays later, touchdown. Jerry Porter can run route strong, physical guy. Get inside, place his body on the corner. Raiders up 21-17. Culpepper on third and seven. 11th play of this drive. Move the change to Jerry Porter and touchdown. Jerry Porter, 28-17. to The ball on the turf. Uh, watch McCown roll. Of course, you're watching. It's on television. He's got good but mobility. Here he's he rolling. Passer, eyes downfield. Yeah. Shoot it in there. Yeah. Uh, when a quarterback is out of the pocket, lock on to the receiver because you have a tendency to take your eyes to the backfield. Takes a huge hit, but still manages to find Porter in the end zone. Touchdown or even a three points would certainly help him in the second half. It's first and ten. McCown. Looking for Porter, covered by Harris, and it's a touchdown! What a catch by Porter! And Harris is beaten in the end zone on a 25-yard strike by Josh McCown. And that's just a great play by Jerry Porter. I mean, he's got great coverage there. Al Harris couldn't do anything different. Jerry Porter just makes an unbelievable play reaching over. You see McCown, he's just going to throw this one up. Look at Al Harris. He's right there to make the play, and Jerry Porter just rips it out. Actually, Atari Bigby probably helped, helped the situation, knocking Al Harris off. Oh. Makes the pitch to Rose. Russell with all kinds of time looking for the end zone. Touchdown! A rope to Jerry Porter. Second touchdown pass of his career. And he bought himself a lot of time getting out of the pocket. But when he found Porter coming into the open in between Marlon McCree and Cromarty. See, Cromarty's got him. But then he's turning him over. He knows he's got safety help to the inside.